What is up, YouTube? Guys, Jericho426 coming at you with another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening video. We've been putting out a lot of these because I've been hoarding a buttload. And uh, guys, coming off the back of one of my most crazy crystal openings, check the video at the end, um, we are going to be opening 50,000 shards worth of not featured six stars because that's only going to give us like three. So we're going to open five, count them, five, 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 um, basic six star crystals. Now, my six star roster is growing rapidly, rapido, uh, but I still don't have, you know what, before, before, let's just go and take a little peek at the, uh, the six star crystal roster. Uh, because it's not, in my opinion, overly glorious. I do have a couple really good ones. Like, I got me a Sorcerer Supreme. Got me a Nick Fury. Awakened. Naturally Awakened, nonetheless. And an Odin. An Odin. So, um, those are my best three. And you can see, I mean, I like my Wasp because I use her with my Ghost, even though I don't have a uh, six-star Ghost. I actually do like Rocket Raccoon. I think Rocket needs to be buffed. And honestly, the only thing I'd really do to him is give him the ability to have like a persistent charge to travel over to, to continue his fights because I think he's actually, I mean, he's so basic, but he's pretty good. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, you can see, you guys might have opinions on who you like the best. I know I got a Black Widow Deadly Origins. I, I like her, but he's not my favorite. I got an Aegon, but he's not Awakened. I just got a Penny Parker the other day, like freaking out. Uh, but I don't have any resources to really rank her up. So, I mean, and, and I got an Angela, but she's not awakened either. So you can see, I mean, I've got some stuff. I got I got some puzzle champions in here. But overall, my six-star roster is not glorious. So we are going to hopefully make it glorious today with a hopefully fantastic crystal opening. And if it's not um, fantastic, well, then it, it was what it was. And But you're not going to get me down because I'm still coming off the high of my last crystal opening. Which, as I said, was fantastic. So, um, guys, if you are enjoying the content on the channel, speaking of content, I, due to demand, not popular because I've only had like four people say it, but due to you four guys out there, uh, I will be continuing to make guides. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate you guys. Sometimes I just need a little kick in the pants. Uh, in order to uh, in order to get back on track, so that'll be coming out next week. I've only uh, I work today. I'm off tomorrow, but I have to well do other stuff, and then uh, I'm working next five days, and then I got my anniversary next weekend. So I'm gonna be working on it next week. Uh, so I'm gonna try to put out you know Miles Morales and um, and a uh, what's her name Kitty Pride Shadow Cat Kitty Pride and a, and a and a kitty cat and a kitty pride and then uh you know uh after that i'll get back to some of the old i know i've had like four requests for older champions i'm trying to get to them guys I'm just trying to get everything going so anyway guys as i was starting to say in that sentence if you guys uh are enjoying the content please like and subscribe to the to the channel i really appreciate or like the video subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate that it really does help with the algorithm uh we're at 740 like one so i really appreciate all the support you guys have already shown me you guys are freaking 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 awesome and let's see what our first one is here buh buh oh oh um, yeah, that sucks. Okay, so, ah, well, uh, we continue on. We press on. Now, speaking of sucks, it's kind of a horrible segue. We watched The Amazing Spider-Man last night. So, um, you know, we always try to watch Marvel movies uh, as we build up to the next Marvel movie that's going to be released in my family. So, uh, we are going back because we have the new uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, which I am super freaking, I cannot even tell you how freaking excited I am for Spider-Man No Way Home. But, um... You know, we are going through the old Spider-Man movies, and we're starting with The Amazing Spider-Man because my wife's never seen them, and my little boy doesn't remember them. And, uh, oh, what is this? This is a this is a very average. I do not want Olivia. I do want Olivia Munn. I don't want that one. Um, but uh, very average. Six Star Chris Love. This is very what you would expect. Um, but we're going back through, and Amazing Spider-Man, you know, at the end, we, we got it off of Voodoo, right? And at the end, it's like, rate the movie. Where, do you, where would you put it? And my, I was like, I let my wife do it. 
and she said three and a half stars out of five. And I was like, yeah, I could, I could see that. I would give it three and a half. It's not terrible. It's just not complete. You know, and the fact of the matter is that the Amazing Spider-Man movie, the plot seems like it's straight out of uh, uh, Ninja Turtles, like out of the shadows. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. <sighs> so if you if you watch my last video, you might have picked up on the fact that I just ranked up my five star Dragon Man and he's awakened and he's sick level 200. <sighs> I like him, but now I got the six star version of him. This is first world problems, guys. Come on, I want somebody I don't have. I just want somebody I don't have that, that's good. I don't want somebody that sucks I don't have. I want somebody that's good that I don't have. Right? So, um, yeah, so and we're gonna watch uh we're gonna watch the follow up with I, I'm kind of intrigued to or, or excited to watch Jamie Foxx again. I really do like Jamie Foxx. Um and uh supposedly, spoiler alert, he might be in the new Spider Man movie. Don't know. Uh but uh but you know, the Harry Goblin. That's what I call him. Harry Goblin. That was just terrible at the end of the movie. So, uh, we're going to see how that goes tonight. And then we're going to go back through the old movies with, uh, Tobey Maguire, which I really like until you get to, you know, until you get to number three. And it's like, how's that sound? Tiger. Let's see how it sounds. We're going to tap that crystal. Uh, Topher Grace was the worst possible choice for that. So, I got a lot. Don't do... Oh, nice! A warlock pull. I don't even have any other. I never use warlock because I don't have any of them. I don't even have a five star version. I love that. Okay, that is a good pull. We like this. This is a good crystal opening. Okay, guys. So, um, you know my biggest, my biggest complaint about Spider Man Three with Tobey Maguire is the same complaint that I had about Iron Man Three, which was the trailers made it seem like it was kind of dark. It was you know, they were getting down to like, there's just nothing left. It's almost hopeless. And they're going to, they're going to make it out of this somehow. And Spider-Man 3 was the same. When you watch the trailers, Venom, it was creepy. It was like almost horror-esque. He was sad. He was depressed. Oh, there's just nothing else. And he's got to fight back. Same thing with Iron Man 3. And then what does it turn out to be? It turns out to be like a freaking slapstick comedy. Um, I have since in the later years appreciated Iron Man 3 a little bit more. I still do not appreciate Spider-Man 3 because we all know it sucks. So, except for the Sandman scene, the Sandman scene is beautiful. I love where he is being created. So, okay, very interesting. I just, I think that awakened him. I think, I, I'm, I'm actually been, yeah, I awakened him. Okay, um, his awakened ability is not that great, uh, in my opinion, but I do like my Black Panther. Um, I've been playing around with him a little bit more. He's got to have that right kind of fight. But I do really, I think I really do like him. So what do you think about this crystal opening, guys? I don't know how to feel. I mean, Warlock, obviously I feel great about Warlock. I feel good about Dragon Man. He's better awakened. And, but I, I already have a 5, like 65 version of him. Mm -hmm. uh, Psylocke, buh, champion, big buh. And then, uh, and then um, Black Panther. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I have to awaken him. So yeah, I mean, overall I'd say very, very average, except for that champion who is, uh, the equivalent of John Candy in, um, space balls. Barf. That was really forced. I'm sorry. That was, I was trying to force a joke that was gonna, it sounded funny in my head and it wasn't funny. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Saturday. Uh, thank you for all the support of the channel and I appreciate you guys so very much. Hopefully your crystal, crystal openings may be more fortuitous than this one and just as fortuitous as my last one. Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and I will catch you on the flip side.